Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we check out the Ferox signature Pat Sheridan bridge pickup from Guitar Marie. In the world of the aftermarket pickup, the options are a plenty. There is literally 50 options for everyone for a given tone. But the name of the game in the aftermarket pickup, at least in my opinion, is getting the most amount of features and being able to do the most amount of stuff with a single pickup. Enter the Ferox from Guitar Marie. Now this is the signature bridge pickup from my good friend, Pat Sheridan of Fit for an Autopsy, representing with my shirt. And I'm excited to check out this pickup. Now, I bought this pickup legit, like everyone else, ordered it right off the website. Well, for a few reasons. I like supporting my friends, but also I really, really wanted to check out this pickup. So, we are going to install this into a Schecter Apocalypse EX baritone guitar, and then we're gonna put it through its paces with a couple of different amplifiers. So, Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. So right now, let's hear this pickup in a heavy, dense, super high gain mix. And I'm going to plug the Schecter into a Maxon ST9 Pro Plus overdrive pedal into my 1993 Revision F Mesa Boogie dual rectifier. The amp will be going into a Mesa Boogie 212 cabinet, mic'd with a Sonoworks SR25 condenser mic and a Lawton Audio LS308 condenser microphone. And honestly, there's there's not a ton of EQ on these guitars at all. I was uh, just moved the mic around a little bit, spent about 30 minutes moving mics. It sounds awesome. So let's hear this pickup. Nimix. So now that we've got the mix out of the way, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a playthrough. I'm going to switch amplifiers. I'm going to plug into an EVH 5153 50 watt stealth head. That way I have clean and dirty channels because the rectifier does not have a great clean channel at all. So I'm also going to put in a Boss RV6 reverb into the effects loop of the EVH. And uh, we're gonna play around with some, uh, with some nice clean tones as well as some unboosted high gain tones with the EVH. Let's do a playthrough. Final thoughts, what do I think? I'm really, really stoked on this pickup. Real talk, uh, I am very, very happy with my purchase from Guitar Marie. Um, Pat did a really good job voicing this pickup. Good, good top end, smooth. 
It's not, uh, it's not too harsh, it's not too spiky. I love where the mid-range sits in this pickup. Also, it's not crazy nutso hot and therefore not dynamic. It's, it's just, yeah, it's everything you want in an aftermarket bridge pickup, especially if you're into aggressive music. It is definitely kind of leaning towards aggressive music, but it has no problem and is just as comfortable putting on some PJs and watching a movie and uh, sharing some popcorn with your loved ones as well. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things, so consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.